Hey everyone, hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Romy, thank you so much for joining me today. And in this video, we are talking about oil pastels. While I was making some space in my computer, I found this footage of a portrait I've done a while back and even if it's one of the first ones I have done with oil pastels, I really do like how it turned out and I thought I'd share it and maybe and hopefully you will like it too. But regardless, while you watch the demo of this piece, I wanted to give you some tips and uh, tell you some things I've learned along the way uh, by using oil pastels that maybe can help you if you are a beginner. And uh, I also want to tell you all the reason that made me fall in love with this medium. So the first tip I wanted to give is uh, specific to portraits and uh, that is that even if you want a realistic color uh, skin tone or color scheme, don't be afraid to start off by um, a colorful first layer. Um, just keep the value straight, the value correct, and actually this will act as an undertone and make it look more realistic and definitely more interesting than if you would just use your classic skin tone colors right off the bat. You can always blend them and trust me, it will end up looking more interesting, definitely. And the next tip is for blending. You can obviously use your finger, but if you're like me and you tend to get messy enough without blending with your fingers, well, you can use, as you see me use here, Q-tips and they work really great. They smudge uh, very good and they give you some precision. The only thing is that you will use so many of them. It's ridiculous. So even if they're all made of paper now, it's still, I mean, you will use a lot of them. But you can also uh, use a blending stamp Obviously, you will have to clean it quite a few times, so keep some sandpaper around. Unfortunately, sharpener do not work to clean them. But yes, it's a great alternative and I know, I mean, blending stamp to blend, it's like mind-blowing. But for me, it was really a game changer, so there you go. You can also use um, blending mediums uh, supposed to, you're supposed to use with oils. I've tried with uh, some oil pastels using turp and um, linseed oil and it really does work quite good if you have them and depending on the look you're going for you can try and use those. At the moment I am waiting for some uh, silicone um, precision brushes to uh, come. I've ordered them on AliExpress so they're taking a while but I want to try them. I think they should work very good with uh, the pastels but I'll let you know in some future videos if they worked how I wanted them to. Another tip is that if you are afraid of making mistake, you could start out with a layer of white pasta, the harder one you have. I normally use my Penta when I do this. And um, so that first layer 
just means that you could then scrape off any mistake you make after and return to your first uh, white layer and yeah I don't always do it because this is a very forgiving medium but it does work quite well so keep that in mind my third tip is that if you are mixing different types of oil pastels which is really great try and remember to use the harder ones first and the softer creamier ones for last this will help you avoid making a muddy mess basically Another thing you can do is using colored pencils for final details that are obviously quite difficult to get with the pastels because of their chunkiness. I've tried polychromos which are oil based and they really work great but even if I haven't tried probably your wax based color pencil should work too. Let me know if you have tried in the comments. My last tip is for fixing the your final drawing on paper and um, if you are using oil pastels in your sketchbook you know that because they never dry completely well it can get a bit messy but if you are like me you're probably not willing to use your expensive fixative on your sketchbook so an alternative to that is using hairspray. It seemed to be working quite good, at least the one I had laying around in the bathroom. I wasn't even actually using it. I probably bought it for a wedding a couple of years ago and there it was just laying. And yeah, it seemed to work pretty well. So yeah, you can try that out and hopefully it works for you too. And if you're just afraid to spray your final piece, you can always use wax paper in the middle of the spread and you're good to go. And next I want to tell you why I love this medium so much. Some of the reasons that made me really fall in love with them and the first one is probably that this medium is a super easy one and what I mean by easy is that you don't really need anything else except some paper and not even too good of a paper uh, normally a standard drawing paper would work perfect you don't even need an eraser for that matter so it's very straightforward you just need some paper and you're good to go which also helps with my next point and that is how affordable they are you can get a set of 50 pentel for 10 bucks 10 euros something like that and i really like them they do smell awful at the beginning like gasoline or something but they are good to work with if you are from the us you can also get crayolas which also work quite good so yeah for a, a couple of bucks you can get a good set to start and play with obviously like everything in life you can always go bougie and expensive but yeah it's not necessary to have a lot or to spend a lot of money to start and play with them. Another thing I really like about them is how they feel painterly even if they are more of a drawing medium and yeah it's really strange but to me they feel like that they they really feel maybe it's because of the result but the whole process feels more painterly than other things that you know don't require brushes i know it's not a very good explanation but yeah 
maybe you get what I'm saying, maybe not. Anyways, another very good thing about them is how very forgiving and easy to fix they are. It's very easy to go over or blend away any mistake you can make really, which can also help you gaining some confidence. But what I probably like the most is how expressive they are and how they sort of keep you loose in the process, which I sometimes struggle with. And even if you can at the end get detailed and realistic with them, um, it's very easy to be loose which for me is really important and they make them a very fun medium to use. Which is very important, I think, because yeah, it's okay to struggle a little bit uh, while drawing or while painting a piece. And to me, there's always a certain moment where I really think that whatever I'm drawing, it's really, you know, turning out awful. But at the end, if you get over that thoughts and, you know, just have fun with it is, to me, it's very, very important. It's And it's why I like creating and drawing. I want to have fun and experiment. So yeah, these are some of the reasons I really like oil pastels and they're one of my favorite mediums at the moment. And if you want to check some cheap sets, you can find some links in the description. I should disclaim that these are affiliate links and obviously you don't have to use it. But if you'd like to support the channel, I would obviously really appreciate that. Anyways, if uh, you are interested in seeing more oil pastels related videos uh, just tell me in the comment what you would like to see if you are interested or curious about any brand in particular or maybe uh, some comparison between specific brands whatever i will try i will do my best to make that happen but that's all for this video. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.